Okay, hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be introducing you to a new series on my channel called Let's Play Warcraft. Um, Let's Play videos are very common on YouTube, um, and I've always kind of liked watching them, so I thought, you know, I want to do some. I asked you guys what uh, you guys might want to see, and a lot of you said you want to see Warcraft. And um, it's a game, you know, that has a monthly fee, so it's not so accessible to everybody. Um, so you know what, if you want to watch it, that's great. If you don't, that's fine too, but I'm going to be putting it out weekly from now on because it's a game I love, and I figure I can share a part of it with you, and that would be fun. So, uh, we're here on the character creation screen. We're going to make a Blood Elf, because of course, what the hell else would I play, ever? Um, and the new patch, 6.1, just got released with the new Blood Elf models, so it's going to be a hell of a cool time. We're going to play, I think, a caster class? Let's play... Let's play a... Um, oh no, let's play a mage. No, no, yes, ah! Let's play a mage. Okay, we're gonna play a mage. And they're gonna be darker skinned. Well, it's not very dark, but it's okay. They're gonna be, they're gonna be pretty. Okay, now what we can do for hair. Um, let's make it like mine. I use this hairstyle for every character. That's fine. We're gonna make him strawberry blonde, though. No beards allowed. Who do you think we are? Let's be a paladin instead. I'm gonna enjoy that much more. No beard. Yeah, okay. His name will be Sanyati. Oh! What? Okay, we made it work. Okay. So I'll let you guys watch the intro for the Blood Elves if you haven't seen it before. It's gonna happen right here. So you have a little bit of backstory on them. Um, yeah. Let's see what happens here. The past few years have seen unprecedented changes within the eternal land of Quel'Thalas. Yeah. The Blood Elves, following the will of their crazed leader, Kael'thas Sunstrider, channeled dangerous, chaotic magics to transform their sacred Sunwell into a gateway of unspeakable evil. While Kael'thas and his demonic masters were eventually defeated, a different kind of transformation occurred within the Sunwell itself, as a dying Naru sacrificed its life essence to reignite the Sunwell into a fount of holy yeah. energy. Now, the Blood Elf Regent Lorthamar Theron sees a new hope on the horizon for his people. Over time, the Sunwell's light could cure the Blood Elves of their cursed state. But many still cling to the arcane powers they procured and are hesitant to relinquish them. As one of the remaining Blood Elves, you must fight to protect Quel'Thalas and help redeem the soul of your ancient people. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. That's not need to be here. Okay, so this is Sunstrider Isle. This is the starting zone for the Blood Elves. Um, we're just gonna go through and do the quests. I'm gonna just do zone by zone, I figure. If you guys would like, I'll read the quests for you. I guess, yeah, you know what, I'll read the quests for you. Let me know in the comments if you don't like that, because this is my first time doing this kind of thing. Um, okay, so, the sooner you begin your education, Sanyati, the better for us all. There is little room for error, so listen closely. The, burn the burning crystals, the green floating objects to the west of the Sunspire here, have been long used to power the Isles of Experimentations. The mana worms were the guardians, but the scourge invasion of Quathalos has driven them errant from our lack of magic magical control over them. There's little choice but to thin their numbers for reclamation. Do this, and then return to me. The reckoning is Easy, ahead. Irona. We're gonna do it. Now, I think I might have some heirlooms. Ooh, yeah, I do. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna put on a bunch of these. That's pretty great. So, um, in this game, heirlooms, basically you get from playing uh, characters to max level, and then... Um, basically you can give them to lower level characters and they will level up faster and they'll be stronger and things like that. So, we're just gonna beat some of these up. I will say, patch 6.1 made the shoulder pads a lot bigger on these guys. They look really cool now. Very good. Now, if you guys didn't see my Warcraft faction tag video, I have a lot of feelings about the Blood Elves. Um, they basically shaped everything about me. 
as an adult human. Um, even the colors I have in my apartment. Like, are you guys seeing this low res stuff? What's happening here? That's better. Okay, there we go. It's a bit prettier now. Okay, I killed your worms, Rona. State your business. You've successfully completed your first task. For that, you are to be congratulated. Such success gives me faith that you will turn out better than these young blood elves who fall, fail to heed the lessons of their masters. Continued success will be rewarded not only with knowledge, but also with the tangible rewards as well. Your work here, however, is not finished. There's much more to learn, my young friend. I'm your friend? We'll have justice. Thanks. Okay. Your effort has made something clear that honestly I wish were not true. The unchecked power of the burning crystals has maligned a much larger swath of the Isle's natural balance than I thought. We must now take on more unfortunate measures to reclaim control. The nearby lynxes have succumbed, suc 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 <laughs> have succumbed to the influence of the crystals, and they must be put down. Bring their caller, Sonyadi, as I may not be able to fashion, as I may yet be able to fashion a magical restraint to turn some back from being uncontrolled. Okay. Paladin training. As you advance within your class, you will want to take advantage of the training that your class trainer can provide you. For young paladins here on Sunstrata Isle, your trainer is just, just, just. Huh? Justhenis Sunstriker. Speak with Justhenis and see what your training, well, see what training he has available for you. The things he will teach you do have a cost, so bring some coin with you. Your trainer, as with all trainers in Sunstrider Isle, is inside the Sunspire on the lower level. Funny story, down. fellas. Um, a while ago, you did have to pay for training, like to learn new abilities and things, but uh, it's been since changed so that you don't have to pay to learn new abilities. They just automatically oh, are given to you as you level up. In time, you will earn your place among us, but first you must learn to harness the powers of the light. There's a typo there. Blizzard? There's a typo in your game. How did you guys not catch this? Holy crap. Harness he powers of the light. Hone your skills at arms and prov prov prove your worthiness. It is time for your first lesson in the ways of the light, Sanyari. As you fight more battles, it will bring you closer to the light and you'll start to uncover new abilities. Go, get more experience and learn a new ability. Return and demonstrate it for me and we'll continue your training. Okay. So basically he wants me to do my stuff until I hit level 3 and then I'll learn a new ability that I can show him. We're gonna go kill some kitty cats. That sounds really brutal, but it's un please. I'm. It's not brutal. You see these kitty cats? I'm going to end you. Oh, it's a cub. No mercy. I can't cast that yet. There's not very many of them back here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's still recharging. Um, so I have a max level protection paladin, that's usually what I play, and I love paladins, so I'm gonna do this one ret, retribution, um, so what that means basically is that he'll be a damage dealing character instead of a damage taking character, uh, which will be different for me because I'm used to playing tank roles. Eventually this will not look so pathetically easy. There we go. One more. Come here. I need to get Very good. All right. Let's go turn that in. That should get us to level three, and then we can do our little Sela command quest that we got. Kill this cat too. It's too Every cat. Look at me go. How cute. Okay. <clears throat> it gives me no pleasure to ask you to destroy these beasts. Well, in times past, we have lived in relative harmony with woodland creatures. These are different times. The first order of business for all Sindorai is survival. Make sure you remember that. Um, little note to you guys, Sindorai is the elven word for blood elves. It's the name for themselves. The tower and surrounding areas should now be relatively secure, though only for the time being. You've done well in providing us with a buffer of security, but we will need to reassert control over the entire isle if we are to survive here in the long run. This will involve tackling much greater threats than errant mana worms and lynxes. Take this, Sanyadi. You will no doubt m make good use for it from the task to come. I actually won't make good use of it. 
You are to report to my assistant, Lanthan Paralon. He will instruct you on what needs to be done next. While we are here, the Sunspire while he blah, 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 blah. while we here at the Sunspire will continue to rain in on the burning crystals. You'll be focused on a more pressing matter concerning Thalthrian Academy. Lanthan will explain fully when you speak to him. Simply walk west of here along the path, and you should see him standing close by. Good luck, Sanyadi. Your continued successes well shall be rewarded. Death to all who Thanks. Are okay, so I have my seal of command now, so I'm just gonna hit a dummy with it on. Yeah. What that ability does is it makes my attacks have a little bit of holy damage to them. It's pretty convenient. The other one that I've had for a little few minutes now um, is just like an extra attack that I can do every few seconds. You've proven yourself capable student. I look forward to continuing your lessons in the future. Thanks, Jasthanus! Let's get married, Jasthanus. Are you my waifu? Ooh, this quest upstairs. Of course there is. I've done this zone maybe a thousand times. Kind of obsessed. We're gonna give my a little pet. We're gonna have a pet. What should his name? Ooh, we're gonna have an Azure Welpling. I've had this this little guy since like forever. His name's Benedict. He's our, our child. Enemies will fall. Okay. Day after day I stand here watching, waiting. I've been accused of dwelling too much on our past while my eyes look to the horizon, but it is my firm belief that each visitor to this island should honor those who have sacrificed all so that they may continue to do so. Dathomar Sunstrider was our first king. He led us here from Kalimdor through the Maelstrom. Ooh, that's a mystery for you guys. Seek out his shrine to the west and do not return to me until you've read the plaque upon it in his honor. With all the chaos happening here at the Sunspire, I haven't had a chance to collect my belongings I've left outside at various places on the Isle. I must maintain my vigil over the Sunwell here, so I'll ask you to collect them in my stead. I need my scrying orb, my scroll of scourge magic, and my journal. Use this satchel for some extra space, as my things are rather bulky. Return them to me and I'll give you a little something, you know, for the effort. You can keep the satchel as well. Oh, thank you. Okay. There's another quest down here, just gonna leap off of buildings, no big deal. No big deal at all. Alright. It's a shame we've lost control of many of the creatures here on the island. This was once a tranquil place of study and research. Now it's all we can do to keep from being attacked by our own creations. I'm going to offer you a chance to receive a magical boon in exchange for collecting work on your part. For some collecting work on your part. Bring me a stack of arcane slivers so that, that are found on mana using creatures of Sunstrata Isle, and I will cast a spell on you that should aid your adventures on the Isle. We will sure. Have sure. Arcanist Ithanas? I don't care. I don't even care. Arcanist Helion. If there is only one lesson you deign to remember from your time on Sunstrider Isle, let it be this. Control your thirst for magic. Oh, I'm thirsty. It's a thirst unending, Sanyari. What you absorb must be controlled and released via Arcane Torrent. Failure is to have become one of the wretched, hopelessly addicted and insane. You guys will see the wretched later. They're really gross. Seek out a mana worm and unleash your Arcane Torrent upon it. Learn to master your power. When you've sufficiently released an Arcane Torrent, return to me. We will have okay. This. We're gonna do it right now. Arcane Torrent's a skill you can use to um, stop spellcasting at people nearby, so it's like you're absorbing all the magic in the area. <gasps> I didn't read that quest text, you guys! I'm sorry, that was habit. I'll read the next one, I promise. I promise! Okay. This is the map. Ooh, it's got icons on it. What are you doing? <clears throat> Land and Paralon. Magistrix Arona told me you'd be f you'd be along quick enough, Sanyadi. The Thalthrian Academy to our west, the huge floating building with ornate spires, is in bad shape. You're going to be leading the effort to recapture it from one of the wretched, a blood elf who has forever succumbed to their basest cravings. Cravings. I hope you're ready for work. This is not only going to be a lesson about danger, but also of what happens when you forsake the realities of who you are. That's some deep shit. Time is up the Before sending you to the academy, I want you on another task that needs, our, needs to be dealt with immediately. Once used to aid us in the gardening of Sunstrata Isle, the, beast, the bestial tenders now have grown out of our control. Clear them out with due haste, but be warned, their lack of control has made them aggressive. It is such aggression that forces us to put down these once gentle servants. It doesn't please me to ask you to do such a task, but survival is survival, I'll mourn later. That's right. What else? Rule in the world. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go... Okay. Okay, we're gonna grab a little thing over here for Selenian. The, one of the, the guy that forgot his stuff is over this way. Um, you may notice this little thing following my cursor. If you guys play Warcraft and you know, you, like, you would know you don't have that. This is an add-on called, I believe this is called Cursor. 
I like it. It makes me feel like I'm a little bit extra. I'm gonna start killing some trees. That's still recharging. I can't cast that yet. That's still recharging. Very good. I can't cast that yet. Alright. Gonna keep on slaying. Can't cast that yet. <sighs> you know, I've been doing these quests, this literal zone I did for the first time when I was, I don't know, eleven. It's it's really important to me. Okay, here's the shrine of Death Ramara, we're gonna read it. You've discovered the location of the shrine. Upon further examination, you sense a stronger pulse of the strange power that has gripped the isle. You feel a bit uncomfortable standing by the shrine, and perhaps a little disturbed. The bronze placard along the side of the shrine reads, Here stands the Shrine of Dathramar, a fitting tribute to a noble elf. Let all who gaze on this monument remember the sacrifices for our people and his dedication to the cause of our continued survival. All who prosper in Quothalos do so thanks to him. Alright. So, um, a long, long time ago, the Blood Elves actually were part of a another race called the Night Elves. They were called the Kaldorai. Night Elves are just, like, what we call them for convenience. Um, and there was a section of people in that race called the Highborn. So they were literally Highborn, they were like, you know, nobles, but they also were skilled in magic. Um, and what ended up happening was the queen was so, so thirsty for magic and for like displays of, of magical power, she ended up summoning the equivalent of Satan onto the world and it literally split the world into four pieces. So if you look at the map here, if you look at this map, this little swirly in the middle of the world here is called the Maelstrom. All of these land masses were once one, but when Queen Ashara, her name is, um, you know, she requested that her servant summon this demon, the, the, there's so much magical power there that it split the world into four or more, even that we haven't discovered yet. So that's pretty major. Um, so death from our uh, was the leader of these highborn, and they were all exiled, so he led them across the sea, um, basically to live elsewhere. So, I'll show you in the map again. They led them from somewhere around here, this is where, uh, really everything once was, when the world was together, led them from this part of the sea all the way across to here, and this is where they landed and they settled, in Quothalos, which is these three, these three, uh, provinces up here, I guess you could say. So it's been quite some time, literally thousands of years since that's happened. So they've they've physically changed to be a little bit different from the night elves. From the night elves, so they're a lot more petite, um, uh, and they just they relied a lot more on magic than actual physical ability. And oh, I don't need to go here yet. That's not the right way. Um, and that made them physically change. So now they're pretty. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It's okay. They're a lot more than pretty. Um, they also, maybe I'll tell you this later, but they, they recently experienced something quite like, it was a, basically a mass genocide of their race. So they're not just pretty faces, like they're pretty, pretty cool. They're pretty wicked. They're all about survival. Okay, we've got two. We need one more thing for Selenian before we can go turn all of these quests in. And that's over here. <clears throat> gosh. Sorry, that was... I just felt the need to look at that right now. Okay, here's his journal. We're gonna take that. Everybody needs his journal. What would you do without a journal? Okay, now we're gonna go quadruple whammy, hand these all in, like a cool guy. Like a cool guy. It's cool guy! Do you guys remember that video? That's old, son cool guy that's that he had like a like a head thing that he set on top of his own head and he kind of around like doing this i don't even know okay while the deaths while the deaths deaths 
of the tenders give me no joy whatsoever. It does show me that you're ready for the most important task you'll do here on Glenstrada Isle. Take this and put it to good use. You'll need good items and sharp wits for the task ahead. A reassertion of control over the island depends on it. This mace is, in fact, better than my current two-handed sword, so I will be using that. And I'll equip a shield with it, because why not? A betrayer of our people resides atop Falthrian Academy to the southwest. Falandrin is his name, and he was banished from Blood Elf Lands for failing to heed the warnings of our teachers and tea elders. He is the worst of our society, as he lives only to feed his insatiable magical addictions. He refused to learn control, he's a shell of his former self, one of the wretched, and he's a threat to the Sunspire. Destroy him, and the Wraith seizes as minions. Sure! Sure! I'll do that for you. Ooh. For ya. For ya. Lanthan. Paralon. What a pretty place. But you guys literally understand everything I own is black and red because of these these people. Like, you have to know. I love red now. Okay. Well, Watcher. Ah, uh, Sanyari, thank you for sharing your experience at the Shrine of Death Ramar. First off, you should be commended for your sense of duty and respect. It will serve you well not only here, but in all of Azeroth as well. For those of you that don't know, Azeroth is the planet. As for the odd sensation, it is no doubt a contributing part of the taint that is the fallen Sunstrider Isle. We shall keep an eye on it. Thank you for alerting us to it. We will You're welcome. Justice. Have you had a chance to find my belongings? Once we reassert our dominance over Sunstrider Isle, I will meet, meet them in my work. For now, though, I must maintain my watch over the Sunmel or what remains of it. Well done. I know you'd be perfect for, my, for the task. Once it's safe to make use of the outdoor facilities on the Isle, I'll be putting these things to good use. Like I mentioned, please feel free to keep the satchel. Also, you may find this piece of armor to be useful. Consider it ample compensation for a simple task performed dutifully. Thanks! I think... Oh, I'll put those on. Okay. Okay. I have a new ability, Judgment. Um, it's a ranged ability I can cast from a distance. I'll show you guys right now. On this cat. Oh, the graphic lagged. Basically, a big hammer falls on them from a distance, and it's cool. <laughs> um, it's very useful, actually. It makes things happen a lot faster. Many of the creatures here on the Isle were at one point bound into non-aggression and complacency by our magical skills. When the Scourge destroyed the Sunwell, our hold over these creatures shattered. Arcane slivers are the remnants of the control we once had, and as such might be usable in fashioning a new device to aid us in regaining their control. Better still, perhaps the slivers could be used to see what malaise the Isle truly suffers under. Hmm. Splendid. These will do nicely. I've been doing quite a bit of thinking on the current malaise Sunstrider Isle suffers under. Malaise. I don't know what that word means. If you guys can tell me... I'd be grateful. One possible course of action I had pondered was to collect these arcane slivers from the beasts on the isle. In doing so, they would be experimented on. This would provide a potential source of culpability. Anyway, I will tend to the research. Allow me to place this incantation on you. I believe you'll make good use of it. Thanks! I got Fortitude of the Sindora. I increase his stamina and spirit by five. That's pretty swell. Thank you, dude. Thank you, bro. Bruh. Okay, I'm gonna sell some things here. Pretty much all of it. Ooh, I love this music. Be ready for anything. We're gonna go to Valfrian Academy now. And we're gonna attack Felindra and the Banished, which will be the last quest I share with you guys this time. Um, so on the way there, let's talk a little bit. Let's talk a bit. Let's talk. Okay, so um, I want to know in the comments if you guys want to see more of these videos. What I plan to do is just sort of follow the storyline as it goes. I'm not going to go out of my way or do anything crazy. Um, but I'll keep it fairly short and usually hopefully 30-minute videos, but you never know. Um, and the plan is to have one of these a week and one of my regular makeup or, uh, you know, social videos a week. So if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know, because these are super easy for me to record and I love playing this game. So if you think this is entertaining, even a little bit, let me know and I will keep doing them, because I love this. This is fun for me. Um, and I'll make sure this character is the only one you see and we'll grow with him together. It'll be fun. Okay, this is the Academy. Uh, let's start beating stuff up. Oh, oh, I'm lagging. Oh no. Okay. Um, so, the Blood Elves, like you may have picked up on already, are very magic-oriented people. So, they have academies all over their land um, that are dedicated to teaching people how to use magic, or harness it, or whatever. Everything like that. Um, 
So, we're just gonna keep going here. Um, and you, you like, I mean, these are floating buildings, so you have to imagine there's a lot of magic going into keeping them up here. So it's pretty swell. It's too far away. Oh look, it's a tainted arcane wraith. This one, I believe, drops a quest item. Beat him up. I can't cast that. Yes, a tainted arcane sliver. It says this arcane sliver glows with an eerie luster. You found an odd sliver of crystallized mana on the corpse of the tainted arcane wraith. The silver, the sliver is different than others you may have seen in that it is dark and sinister looking as the wraith you looted it from. Just holding it gives you a sense of unnatural foreboding. Arcanist Hellion at the gazebo on the Sunspire of Sunstrider Isle just might be someone who would have a use for the sliver. Okay, now this guy you see here, he won't attack me right away, so I'm going to show you him. This is a wretched. This is what happens when blood elves don't control their thirst for magic. They get these weird pustules on their body that are actually mana coming out of them. They lose their hair, they get all scrawny and skinny, and they develop claws. It's just not a good sight. Like, just, just, let's, let's compare. Let's compare these, these two, these two fellows here. Oh, oh no. Let's compare. Ha! Huh, which one's healthy? I don't know. Maybe not the guy that's drooling. Okay. That was depressing. A one-shot kill. Okay. I've got to kill three more wraiths, and we'll be good to get out of here. I'm out of range. I need to target something first. All right. I do want you guys to know that the the heirlooms I'm wearing are making combat a lot easier for me. At no point, at, like the the combat is not hard at this point in the game, of course, but it's a little bit more time consuming than I'm I have it, right? All right, there we go. So we've killed all of our required stuff. I'm gonna, ooh, oh, I almost jumped off a building. I'm gonna use my hearthstone to go back to my home. Um, you can set your home to be anywhere, really, any inn. Ooh, that animation's beautiful. They just changed these, so I'm like really into it, I'm sorry. Okay, back home. I'm gonna hand these quests in. Um, and that'll be fun, that'll be the good stuff. What business have you? From your demeanor, you seem to be on a matter of some urgency. Is there something specific I can assist you with? This is most interesting. And when I say interesting, I mean more disturbing than anything else. Our efforts to reassert control over the Isle in the time following the destruction of the Sunwell have been a challenge. I suspect that whatever foul source is corrupting the Isle is at the heart of it all. This sliver may be of some aid in uncovering what's really going on. You were wise to bring this to me, Sanyadi. Take this as compensation for your diligence. Thank you. Thank you, Hellion. Ah, oh, Helion, Hellion, whoever, I don't even care. It's fine. And you know, one more to hand in over here with Lanth and Paralon. Ooh, you just saw the inside of my dragon. That's not pleasant. <clears throat> All right. Yes. Heed well this morning. Felinger the Banished is only a symptom of a much larger problem. His demise will solve our immediate concerns, but all Blood Elves share the potential same fate as him if we let our addictions get the best of us. Felindrin's head. You are to be commended, Sanyadi. Oh, yeah, by the way, I took his head off. I don't know why. He didn't ask me to, but I took his head off. <laughs> You've succeeded where others, like Felindrin, have utterly failed. Perhaps you're truly ready to be a contributing member of Blood Elf society. Your success here means that you are capable of surviving the greater threats that Lurkin ever saw, and believe me, there are plenty to face. Thank you. Got a new shield from that. You guys see that? It's pretty. That's the Blood Elven Insignia. It's really nice. Magistrix Irona wanted you to head over to Silvermoon City in order to aid our reclamation efforts there. That is, once you have successfully addressed the situation at Thalthrian Academy. You did not disappoint us, Sanyadi. On your way to Falcon Wing Square, south of here, you should speak to the Outrunner Valerian. She's not far from the bridge. The Outrunners take good care of shuttling goods between here and the mainland, and since you've proven to be so resourceful, they could use your assistance. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me on my first LP video. I'm really excited um, to show you more of this game. I really hope you liked this. Please let me know if you did, and let me know if there's anything you suggest that I change as well, like reading or not reading quest text, because I'm really, I've never done these before. I don't know what you guys like or want me to do. Um, so until next time, I hope you all have a great evening, and I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye!